Kuala Lumpur, the nation's capital, is situated on the southwest coast of the Malaysian Peninsula. One of Southeast Asia's metropolitan areas with the quickest growth is this one. Kuala Lumpur, a business center, is populated by people of many different ethnic backgrounds, including Indian, Malay, and Chinese. Kuala Lumpur is quickly rising to the top of the list of popular tourist destinations thanks to its steel-clad skyscrapers, historical landmarks, lush green parks, and vibrant street markets. Let's learn some fascinating information about Kuala Lumpur. The city is situated 25 miles 40 kilometers east of peninsular Malaysia's ocean port, Port Kelang, on the Strait of Malacca, in the country's west central region, midway along the west coast's tin and rubber belt. It serves as the largest urban region in the nation as well as its transportation, commercial, and cultural hub. Kuala Lumpur was named a municipality in 1972. And this organization, together with other regions of the neighboring Selangor state, became a federal territory in 1974. Kuala Lumpur was first inhabited in 1857 when 87 Chinese tin miners established a hamlet in what is now the suburb of Ampong. The hamlet prospered as a tin collecting center despite its malaria-infested jungle environment because it strategically controlled both river basins. Kuala Lumpur replaced Klang, now Kalang, as the state capital in 1880, and Sir Frank Swetnam, a British resident from 1882, is credited with the city's subsequent rapid growth. In order to prevent fires and promote better health, he pushed the use of brick and tile in buildings and started construction on the Klang Kuala Lumpur Railway. The city was chosen as the capital of the Federated Malay States due to its strategic location, 1895. The city's architecture is a blend of modern and traditional. Examples include glass and concrete skyscrapers, elegant mosques, Chinese shop houses, family-run businesses with the family's living quarters upstairs, squatters huts, and Malay stilt kampongs, villages, which show influences from the West, Middle East, East Asia, and the region. Its municipal territory and suburbs are carefully organized, despite its extremely packed center along the embanked Kalang. On the east bank of the river is where most of the Golden Triangle's businesses are located. Two of the world's tallest structures are located there, the 1,483-foot, 452-meter, Petronas Twin Towers by Argentine-American architect Cesar Pelli and the 1,381-foot, 421-meter, Kuala Lumpur Tower, one of the world's largest broadcasting and telecommunications masts. On the river's mountainous west side are the noteworthy railway station, notable government buildings, and other structures with Moorish-style influences. A zone of Chinese two-story wooden shop houses surrounds this core, as well as diverse residential communities made up of Malay kampongs, contemporary bungalows, and middle-class brick flats. The elite Bukit Tunku, or Kinney Hills, neighborhood is home to opulent residences and other buildings that combine various architectural styles. Peninsular Malaysia's limestone grotto complex known as Bata Caves. The caverns are a center of pilgrimage for Tamil Hindus and one of the nation's most popular tourist destinations. They are situated 7 miles 13 kilometers north of Kuala Lumpur, the Malaysian capital, and are called for the neighboring Sungai Batu, Bata River. Prior to the 1878 discovery of the caves by the American naturalist William Temple Hornaday, only locals were aware of their presence. A temple was erected inside the caves in 1891 by K. Thambusami Pillay, a prominent member of the Tamil Hindu community in Malaya, as the area was then known. According to legend, he was inspired by how the cave opening resembles the point of the veil, or spear, that the deity Murugan usually carries. The first Thypism celebration took place here in 1892, and today it is a significant occasion that draws tens of thousands of pilgrims each year. Thypism is a Tamil Hindu festival dedicated to the god Murugan. A tall limestone protrusion contains the Bata Caves. 
Near the bottom of a staircase with 272 steps is a massive Murrigan statue made of reinforced concrete that is 140 feet, 42.7 meters, tall and covered in gold paint. Visitors frequently encounter aggressively begging macaques as they ascend the stairs. The largest cave, also known as Cathedral Cave or Temple Cave, has an entrance at the top of the stairs. The largest temple on the grounds is located inside. Dark Cave is located at the bottom of the staircase and is occasionally off-limits to tourists. Still more caverns are located near the bottom of the stairs. A statue of Hanuman, the monkey god and protagonist of the Indian epic poem Ramayana, stands at the entrance to the Ramayana Cave. Dioramas of moments from the epic line the interior of the cave. More statues and paintings can be found at the cave villa, which comprises art gallery cave and museum cave. Among the tallest structures in the world are the Patronus Twin Towers, a pair of skyscraper office buildings in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The Twin Towers, designed by American architect Caesar Pelli, were finished in 1998 and were constructed to house the headquarters of Patronus, the National Petroleum Company of Malaysia. Each tower has the same design, an eight-lobed circular building with 88 stories of usable area, a pyramid-shaped pinnacle, and a thin steel spire atop. The combined height of the two structures totals 1,483 feet, 451.9 meters, including 242 feet, 73.6 meters, for the pinnacle and spire. Each structure is supported by 16 enormous columns that run the length of its perimeter. Rather than being built of structural steel, these columns and the rest of the frame are made of high-strength, steel-reinforced concrete. The outside sheathing is made of stainless steel and glass. The 41st and 42nd stories of each tower are connected by a skybridge that is two stories high. The 110-story Sears, now Willis, Tower in Chicago, which had previously held the title, was surpassed by the Patronus Twin Towers in 1996 once the spires had been affixed to the structures and each had thus attained its full height. However, despite the fact that the Sears Tower's top was more than 200 feet, 60 meters, higher than the Twin Towers, the spires on the tower's pinnacles were seen as essential components of the overall architectural design, see researchers note, building heights. In 2003, a spire was added to the Taipei 101, Taipei Financial Center, building in Taipei, Taiwan, raising it to a height of 1,667 feet, depriving the Twin Towers of their eminence, 508 meters. Brief information about Kuala Lumpur. Urban floods. You might not be aware of this, but Kuala Lumpur floods during the rainy season or when there are periods of intense precipitation. Because the city is located next to the Gombak and Klang rivers, flooding occurs frequently. Since flooding occurs frequently in this area, residents are accustomed to it and are generally ready for it when a significant downpour occurs. Visitors are warned against visiting Kuala Lumpur during times of intense rain since they won't be able to adequately take in the city's natural splendor. The Style Hub More than 65 shopping malls, including the fourth largest mall in the world, one Utama, which has a total size of around 5 square kilometers, make Kuala Lumpur the retail and fashion capital of Malaysia. Due to its Egyptian-inspired Sphinx construction, Sunway Pyramid is the most recognized and opulent one. Malaysia's retail capital, shopping paradise Kuala Lumpur, is home to 66 malls in all. The fourth largest shopping center in the world, one Utama in Kuala Lumpur, with a total floor area of 5,000 square feet. The, the Sunway Pyramid Shopping Mall, known for its Egyptian-inspired architecture, is another mall that is well-liked by tourists. Unclean Confluence Kuala Lumpur's literal meaning is that. The words Kuala and Lumpur both mean junction of two rivers in Malay. Kuala means muddy. The fact that Kuala Lumpur is located at the confluence of the Gombak and Klang rivers is the reason for its name. One of towers is tilted. Yes, that is accurate. Two different businesses were recruited to construct the towers in order to meet the deadline. One of the towers was built by the Japanese business Hazama Corp, 
while the other by the Korean corporation Samsung. Kazama Corp made a mistake, as they later realized, and the tower tilts by 25 millimeters. The following 16 levels were angled back 20 millimeters to remedy the inclination. This is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos. Stay tuned with AWZ.